Do you ever find yourself reading? And then when you get to the end, you don't remember a thing. You read every single word, but you don't remember you didn't actually comprehend despite actually reading. Now my friends, this is an issue, especially when you're taking a timed test in which you're responsible for the comprehension of whatever passage that you're reading. Have no fear, my friends. I have a solution, so make sure that you watch this video in the entirety so you can learn the whole technique on how we are going to slay our reading. Welcome to Purely Persistent, I'm Michelle. Friends, click the link down below for my freebie that's a poster of this technique because you don't wanna just watch this video and then forget what it means, right? You wanna make sure that you have this poster handy so that you remember the techniques so that you do better on your reading, science, social studies test. So slay actually has two meanings. The first meaning is that is so slay. And the second meaning is, I'm ready to slay the reading. The S in slay stands for skim. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you take a look at what you are reading. So just do a quick skim or a quick survey of the passage. Take a look at the title, the subtitles, any pictures or images, and if there's not really much to take a look at, read the first little bit, maybe half a line of each paragraph so that you know what's going on because the first sentence usually has the topic sentence that the whole paragraph is about. And once you've taken a little bit of time to skim, again, no more than like 15 seconds, you'll have a general idea of what is going on in the paragraph, in the passage, so that you're going to be able to be much more focused while you're reading. The L stands for look at the questions. So briefly look at what the questions are. Mind you, if it refers to a line, don't take that brief second to read that question because you'll see the number, you'll see line 17, just ignore that question but take a quick look at the other questions, not the answer, just the question, so that you know what to look for while you're reading. Again, you should only take maybe 15 seconds to do this. You don't want the first two steps to take a lot of time because you wanna make sure that you actually have the time to read. The first A is actually read. So take a bit of time and read through whatever the passage is. And as you're reading, hopefully you're going to be paying a little bit more attention since you really know what's going on and you know what to look for. A, answer the questions. Since you took a little bit of time before you read to look at the questions, now that it's time to answer the questions, some of them are gonna be so much easier because you read it in the passage. And if you need to go back, you know exactly where to go back to because you were looking for the answers to those questions as you were reading. And finally, why? Yo, check your answers. <laughs> okay, so you do wanna make sure that you take just a minute or 30 seconds to make sure that you click the right answers. There's nothing worse than clicking the wrong answer when you knew what the right answer was. So take just a second and look over and make sure that you answered the questions properly. My student Lindy just passed the science, social studies, and language arts reading test. And she swears by this technique. She's telling all of the other classmates that they need to do this because that is the key that made it so that she passed the test. My friends, out of all of the reading strategies I share, this one is the most important. My friends, so whether you slay your reading or you slay your reading, definitely make sure that you take the time to follow this reading technique because it will really help you. And of course, make sure that you believe in yourself. Try your best and have full confidence that you can do this. I believe in you. I know that you can do this. So my friends, 
Have a beautiful day and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Oh, it makes this sound when I when I when I move it. <laughs>